guys, Ray here. I'm here today with a very short video. I just want to show you guys my very small luxury bag collection. Actually, my collection is a lot smaller now. And yeah, every piece is a bag that I really love. It's practical for my lifestyle and I actually use it. Something I like to keep in mind when I buy a bag is, do I really love it? Will it live past the trend? Like, so even if it is a trendy bag, Will I still want to use it and enjoy using it after the trend passes? If it fits my lifestyle and if it doesn't add to useless clutter in my life. Ignore my hair. I really don't know what's happening here. I'm in a really awkward bang grow up stage and you know, we'll just live with it. So first I'll just start with my favorite handbag. I don't have the long strap on it right now because I do prefer using it handheld like this. And this is my small Loewe puzzle bag in grained calf skin. And I do have a review of this bag both in English and in Japanese, I think. Yeah, I do. So if you're interested in seeing a review, please check that out. I've had this bag now for a few months. I've used it really often. It's just so easy, like it opens really wide, very easy access. A lot of people do say that it's hard to kind of find things in this bag because the opening is smaller than the actual bag. But I haven't had that issue, you know, you just open it, stick your hand in, pull whatever out. I find it really roomy and it's a nice colorway for like casual and um, more formal clothing. So this is the one roomier handbag slash shoulder crossbody bag option that I have that I really enjoy and I will not be letting go of this anytime soon. And next I'll go with this bag. I did review this one most recently. It's the Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag. And I am using an insert so it is a very small bag especially compared to the puzzle bag it doesn't fit a lot but i just love how it looks um i've really been enjoying carrying it like this kind of like a clutch but not really let me show you i've been enjoying carrying it like this if you can see i think it's really cute um the leather quality is fantastic and I feel like even though it is a very trendy bag, for me it will outlive the trend just because the quality is great, um, the color is classic and the shape is, you know, nothing extraordinary. It's a classic flat bag basically, but with a little something that's really different and unique and I really love it. So yeah, this is the second bag in my collection and we only have two bags left. So the next bag is this and it is the Louis Vuitton Navona Pochette bag. I believe it's not sold anymore and also this uh, keychain here I bought separately and I attached to make the handle a bit longer so that I can use it as a shoulder bag. And this is my go-to bag when I just need to run a little errand and all I need is my wallet, my mask, maybe a chapstick, but yeah. It's roomy enough that it fits my Zippy coin purse uh, wallet. And what else is in here? I have a pen. But yeah, this is my everyday bag. I really love it. I think it's such a classic um, shoulder bag, but it's also really trendy right now. How I got this bag, my grandmother bought it, I think, in Hawaii in the early 2000s, and she gave it to me because she doesn't really use it, and I treasure this bag so much. I think it's so cute. It's a vintage piece. Cannot get it from Louis Vuitton anymore. You can find it on the secondhand market, especially from eBay sellers in Japan. But yeah, this is a piece that I will not be letting go of. And I love that with this keychain attached, it does give it like something different. 
and it's really unique. It gives it a bit of a more ur urban vibe, which I love. So that was my third bag. So, so far we have a handheld bag that can also be held as crossbody, my tiny shoulder bag, and a flat bag. And the last bag that I have to show you is a tote. Here she is. This is the Forêt Le Page Daily Battle tote bag in the size 32. I believe it's the third biggest or second biggest size. There are quite a few reviews on YouTube about the 37. This is um, smaller than 37. And I would say the size is the same as the Neverfull MM. And I just love it so much because, well, first of all, I customized it. So I have a medal with my initial on it, which I think is so cute. And the monogram, you can see here. It's a French brand, and I love that the handles are completely adjustable, so you can either carry it, you know, like a tote on the shoulder, or you can clasp the, adjust the handle, but yeah, I prefer it long. It's extremely, extremely roomy, like it opens up very wide. There's one internal pocket made of leather. And this is my go-to travel bag if I'm going on the plane. This is my carry-on bag. It fits, you know, more than I have to put in it. So I think if you do want a tote that is very good quality, coated canvas, resistant to wear and tear, especially because it has corner protectants here, and is not as uh, ubiquitous as Goyard, as Louis Vuitton, MCM, this is the bag that you should get. I really love it. I think it's so chic, especially this gray color. And yeah, so here's how it looks. So that's all. I don't have any more uh, luxury bags. I don't have anything on my wish list. I think if I were to get one more bag, it would be a very, very classic bag. You know, maybe an Hermes piece or a Chanel piece because I don't have any of those. But yeah, for now, I don't really find myself wanting any more bags. I think I have really great pieces of like every category, a big bag, a small bag, a hand carry bag, and a crossbody bag. I think it's great to have a small capsule collection of bags you love. You don't have to worry about reselling it. You don't have to worry about resale value. You don't have to worry about having too many things because you only have one of each category. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm really curious to know what your style is. If you just like to buy every trending bag because you really enjoy it and you like the thrill of shopping, or if you're like me and you're a bit more reserved in your luxury purchases. Uh, for a YouTuber who talks about bags, this is not a lot of bags to have. And uh, <laughs> I find myself thinking about what kind of videos I can make other than this. I do have um, a growing luxury shoe collection that I might make a video on, uh, jewelry maybe, but yeah. I think for me this is a way of shopping that really works for me. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!